Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll be talking about male and female felines and who can claim the title of most friendly and least aggressive. Before we take a deep dive into this subject, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. In unfixed cats, males are most aggressive, particularly towards other cats. However, when in heat or protecting a litter, females can be aggressive towards humans or other female cats. When fixed, both male and females tend to be mellow and less aggressive. Research shows that males have a tendency to instigate aggressive conflicts. Females are more independent of their owners, but social and affectionate toward other female cats. As you can tell from the information, it more or less comes out in the wash, as the old expression goes. Both males and females can dish out a bit of anger and hostility, while both can be cool, calm, and collected. Of course, for every known factor, there are several Unknowns that just can't be answered in terms of a broad brush way of viewing things. Every cat has its very own personality with its very own owner or owners. Every cat also lives in its very own environment. When you sprinkle in these special factors, it can really add some spice to the equation. Just a quick example, most all cats will be aggressive if they live in an aggressive environment. On the flip side, most cats will have a more relaxed demeanor if they exist in a calm and loving environment. In sports, my favorite, <laughs> not everything will make the stat sheet. There are intangibles that just can't be properly recorded. That's not too much unlike cat ownership and environmental conditions. With respect to who is the friendlier, male or female, results may vary depending on a cat's given circumstances. How a cat behaves can depend so much on external factors. Before we turn the corner and discuss today's first topic a subsection a quick shout out to you as always the best audience on the feline wing of the entire internet hello and welcome that's you <laughs> if you're new here we are so very glad to have you if you are a seasoned pro we welcome you back senior cat wellness is the direct result of loving and caring viewers here again that's you the audience you are our foundation and it is our great pleasure to provide content that is both enjoyable and informative, and we thank you so much for your support and for your valuable time. We do hope to see you again in future content. Now, let's talk about male and female cats, aggression, friendliness, and most everything in between. Let's go! Before we divide things into male and female, are some breeds just naturally on edge? We mentioned earlier about the importance of special factors and unique living environments. Having said that, are some cats just bad to the bone? Hmm. Of 5,726 domestic cats that were observed across a variety of breeds, researchers in the field concluded that the Turkish Van and Angora breeds were and are the most aggressive towards both humans and other cats. Korats and Bengals also made the list with Korats. Devon Rexes and Russian Blues being the most aggressive toward strangers. Of course, even with this information, let's pump those brakes just, just a bit and once again visit the special factors. I have a feeling that aspect of things will be the foundation for everything we talk about here today. Just a hunch. Individual personality, social experiences, and genetics are factors that simply cannot be overlooked. These factors trump most anything relating to sex and gender. Think of it this way. Are male humans friendlier than female humans? Well, if someone gave some type of broad brush proclamation and definitive answer based strictly on male or female alone, no one would believe it regardless of the answer. And why? Why is that? <laughs> because the immediate response would be the obvious. We all come from different backgrounds, have different experiences, live in different places, can have different social views. Is this woman nice because of her values and positive experiences? Or is she nice simply because eh, she's a woman? What if we put this nice woman in a rough environment with bad experiences? Would she still be nice simply because she's a woman? Well, who knows? But what we do know is that there wouldn't be a definitive answer. As for cats, there's no definitive answer either. All that anyone can provide is a baseline opinion based on some level of an equal playing field and whether or not the cat has been fixed. When cats are unfixed, it can be easy to say that males are probably more aggressive. However, 
If you are talking about fixed males and females, this certainly aids to even the playing field and lower the aggression. Hormones play a vital role in whether a cat is a bit sweet or sour. When you mix that with personality, it helps to somewhat promote some level of equality where one could potentially get to a true gauge on friendliness in the most literal of terms. However, in these cases, upbringing and personality will likely win the day. What is left in terms of being friendly or aggressive will likely be the cause of various external factors and life experiences. We've noted how being fixed can help to limit aggressive tendencies quite a bit, but the wild card is a female cat in heat. How aggressive do females become compared to their normal tendencies when unfixed, and how do those tendencies compare to unfixed males? Females in heat can become aggressive, but it isn't hallmarked by a short temper in fighting necessarily. It can manifest in aggressive affection, a demand for attention, not only from male cats, quite obviously, but also from people. While this is not to say that clawing and biting will not occur, females in heat tend to become restless and very moody. If both males and females are fixed, interestingly enough, females can display a bit more aggression. While fixed females can display fearful tendencies after being fixed, males tend to be more loving, friendly, and playful, while females tend to be more affectionate with other females while their relationship with the males, <laughs> well, that's not always as strong. Of course, yet another common trend with a topic such as this is that nothing, absolutely nothing, is set in stone. Personality can override a lot of hormonal changes. If your cat is truly aggressive, then being fixed will only pour cold water on it just so, just so much. And our next subsection will shed more light on why this is often the case. If there is anything at all that could be declared as a true answer in respect to this topic, it could involve cats that are hand-reared. We have beat the drum on this material about personality, life experiences, environment, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and now we've arrived at somewhat of the, the source of positive conditioning. Kittens that grow up in a positive environment and have positive experiences with both cats and people are more likely to be less aggressive, have a much friendlier temperament, and be more social and trusting. With such a positive foundation, any cat, male or female, will likely be more docile in this setting. The question of which cats are friendlier, male or female, is often attached to various trends, information that can be easily manipulated with even the slightest changes of environment and owner. Is it conceivable that an aggressive cat under owner A could become more loving and social under the care of owner B? Certainly. Additionally, it's also important to define what aggression means to you personally. Are we talking about ribbing the curtains down or just some negative posturing and vocalization? How much can you tolerate as an owner? Just keep in mind that not all cats are evil and not all cats just flew right in on unicorn dust. <laughs> Before we answer the question about being friendly or aggressive, let's take a look at ourselves. As an owner, who are you? What are your objectives and goals? What type of living space do you wish to provide? And how much are you willing to train your cat? Willing to love your cat even? While this topic is certainly one of value, there are so many players on the field. Players that can move and change at any moment. This can change everything. Are male or female cats friendlier? That's the question. The answer is both a yes and a no. And it's our job to shape the environment and create the best situation possible. It's really only until then can there ever be a true answer for that given cat in that given home with those given people. Love your pet today. Love your pet tomorrow. Rinse and repeat. That is our advice. And on that note, that will close things out for the video side of life. However, if you would like more information about this rather complex and somewhat always evolving topic, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. We hope you find our written content to be both enjoyable and informative. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. 
And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.